Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's Down and Dirty is a continuation of our iDig series and it's gonna be a really simple, straightforward one, pretty short. It's how to create a benchmark using the iDig system. So what we wanna do is, let's say we have this arbitrary point out here that we wanna match grade right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our teeth right on that grade. And there's one thing we need to note here is we need to figure out which tooth is actually reading grade. And this system is designed currently in its current setup because there's no indicator on the bucket. It will determine which tooth it takes its measurement on based on the pitch of the machine. It's always going to pick the lowest tooth. So if we were oriented to where the left side of the bucket was, was lower than the right side, it would start measuring off of the left tooth because that's the lowest point. Likewise, if we were angled the other way, it would automatically flip to the right tooth because that's the lowest point. But in a situation like this, I wanna tell it, I want the left tooth to be my indicator. So I'm gonna to touch the left tooth and you'll see that it jumps over and there's a little lock that pops up on the left side of the bucket. I have now locked the system to where I am taking readings off of the left tooth on the bucket. So now I have my left tooth sitting at the elevation I wanna match. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna tell the system, it says, hey, we think this is at 2.91 feet above grade. What is it actually? And we're gonna say, no, no, this is grade, it's zero. That's our zero point. And so now, as I start to come in, and I don't know if the camera picks it up, I'm actually coming uphill. We are facing downhill. So as we come up here and I pull my stick in, you're gonna notice we've actually come up a full tenth in elevation. And so we are now locked in to where I will, I can grade and match the point that we set out there. So let's do one other thing. Let's say that we dug this whole thing and we got it down to grade, which I'm not actually gonna do. And then, of course, what do you do? You move the machine, right? Let me make sure I don't back into Rick here. In fact, we'll just go forward because it really doesn't matter. And this is a better demonstration because it doesn't matter which way you move. Because this is a 2D system, it doesn't know where we are in space and what grade is supposed to be. And so what we're going to do is we're gonna tell the machine what grade needs to be. Hey, I'm trying to make a, a down and dirty and you just drove over my benchmark. All right, so let's get, I know. So, all right, so now what we've got is, remember we dug down the grade out here, right? but we've, we've moved the machine and the machine doesn't know where we're at and what we're supposed to be at. So if I, if I put my bucket out there, if you recall, when we were sitting over there, that was about a 10th high, right? But the system is reading it as eight and a half tenths high. And it's because the, the computer doesn't know where we're at on the site. It just knows that, hey, with our sensors and this orientation, in theory, our bucket should be here in relation to our tracks. So that's why with 2D systems, you have to tell it where the benchmark is, where the elevation is. This is really easy to do in this system. So in theory, we had dug this down to grade. So now I can just go here and hit this little button, boom, it zeroes me back out, and now I'm set up to carry that grade. Now let's go another step and let's say that's our benchmark again, but now we wanna dig two feet below that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, it says our actual, we're at one point, I'm sorry, we're at 12 tenths. But we want it to be, and this is gonna be a little backwards, I still get backwards on this. If you think about it, we're telling it where our teeth are in space relative to grade. And if I wanna dig two feet down, that means my bucket right now is technically two feet above grade. So this is gonna be a positive two feet. And sure enough, now you can see it's showing that we are two feet above grade on the screen. So now I could dig down to my depth and we're ready to go, ready to rock. And then again, once we dig that down, I move the machine. What I'm gonna do now, if I wanna re-benchmark back in the hole, now our hole is at two feet deep. And so I have to go in here and I have to say, hey, the actual is zero now, this is grade. And from then forward, 
we can go back into using this zero button and it will re-zero us inside the trench. So I know that's a little confusing. Uh, it is kind of hard to talk about when you aren't actively working in a trench, uh, but hopefully that gives you an idea of how you re-zero this, how you create your benchmark. Obviously, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I'll do my best to get them answered for you. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next episode.